Now, Gail is concerned about um, comments that her pastor made that you can be a Christian and not demonstrate any fruits of the Spirit whatsoever. And you could even deny your Christianity and still uh, go to heaven. She wants to know my response to that. I, I actually don't know how those things are possible biblically. Uh, this, this is beyond the broad question of whether we're saved by grace or not, because I believe that we are. Uh, but those who are saved by God's grace and not by our own efforts uh, still demonstrate a belongingness that is belonging to Christ or the body of Christ based on some indicators that the Bible identifies. Fruits of the Spirit are one of them. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Now, I don't think everybody has to have those things in abundance in order to prove that they're Christians, but there are quite a number of places in the, past, in the Scripture where we are enjoined to assess the alleged convictions of others by their behaviors. In fact, John says they went out from us to show that they were not part of us. There is a behavior, an apostasy, a leaving of the faith, and this action of leaving is an example of, uh, uh, is evidence that their faith is, no, is not legitimate. Now, whether they lost their salvation or whether they never had it, that's another question. And we can have that discussion. But it, a Christian is someone who trusts in Jesus. If a person has denied such a trust, then he at that point is not a Christian. It's that simple. And I'm actually stunned that a pastor would say anything different. Uh, maybe he's concerned that this isn't really the grace of God or there isn't security then for the Christian. There is security. I, th I personally think that real generation is irreversible, but only God can see that condition. All we can see is people's behavior. And James in James chapter 2, John there in 1 John, as I cited in uh, many, many other passages, give us the liberty to assess the legitimacy of another Christian's condition or another person's condition by the statements that they make whether or not they trust or believe, and also by, their, uh, by the manner of their life. It is not one or the other, it is both and. If they either deny Christ, or if they seem to affirm Christ in kind of an isolated way from their lifestyle, and everything else about their life is lived in complete uh, separation from Christ, I don't see any reason that we have to to suggest that this person is one of his. A Christian is a follower of Christ. If they are a follower of Christ, they follow in some significant way. They don't deny. So I think that this approach is it's completely unbiblical and without justification. If a person denies the faith, he's not a Christian. Whether or not he was in the past, that's a different question. If a person shows no evidence of Christ in their life, I think they have good reason to question whether or not Christ is in their life or not.